I was going to ask about, since you had been, some of your earliest memories had been in camp where everyone around, almost everyone around was Japanese American, uh, except for a few administrators and staff people. And then you moved to Chicago where it sounds like in your immediate uh, living uh, area your, your, where your apartment was and playmates were all white. Did you, do you recall noticing anything of that? Or do you think you were aware at that time about difference in skin color or I anything? don't recall um, being aware of it. Um, that's not to say that I wasn't. Um, because I've learned over the years that uh, there were a lot of things that um, um, I was taught just to repress, you know, if, if it was uh, uncomfortable or if it felt awkward. There were ways that uh, I think uh, Japanese Americans, you know, had ways of, of dealing with those kinds of things and, and, and repressing them or pretending that they didn't exist, you know. And uh, just like the way our parents did with, with the whole camp experience, they just decided to erase it from their memory bank, you know. And of course, I think that created a lot of problems uh, as well. But nonetheless, they, they, it was a survival technique and it worked. And so I'm not going to say that, uh, you know, when we got to Chicago that uh, I was immune from realizing, you know, those differences because I, I very well could have and just learned as a youngster how not to pay attention to that uh, because of the influence that my parents had on me on a daily basis, you know. Don't think about that. Don't talk about that. You know, you shouldn't you know, notice things like that, it's bad for you, you know, whatever. I mean, my life was just filled with those kinds of things for everything else, so why, why wouldn't it be, you know, if I said, uh, you know, gee, there are no, you know, Japanese kids around here, and, and you know, the, I could hear them saying, well, that doesn't matter, don't ever say that again, because that doesn't matter, you know. Um, but as I say, I don't remember that specifically, so. It's just like people ask me about the camp experience. How did I, how did I feel about that? Well, you know, as a two and three year old, you don't feel about that. You know, the kinds of things you think about are far more immediate than that. Like the fact that all my friends were around me all of a sudden, you know, from, from that standpoint, I, I thought whatever change this was, was for the better. Because I can only see these people on certain occasions, you know, not on a daily basis. 